And I will announce to you today, we are now fighting them back. And we will continue to fight them back until, until we get to a point where they can how we pick up arms to fight back. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> we are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. Everything I'm going to have, but I want to I tell you the truth. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. I will be. I have not just I will. I have become your last bus stop and said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until the Afra come. Eh, eh, and what we want to make abundantly clear is that we are warning everybody who is a stakeholder in the zoo about our determination and our resolve to ensure that our land is defended. This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. And and, and 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 so called uh, so called elected officials in the, in, the, in the Piafra land. Do we are the people that gather together and proscribe us? The yes, proscription was announced by the, by the, by some politicians, not by yes. the zoo. They did the proscription. Yes. And that is why sometimes you see when they are talking about this this idiot that begin to talk about political solution, you begin to see do only a madman will listen to somebody mentioning political solution. If these people were sincere to themselves, the only thing you should have done first of all is to make sure, make sure that they remove that prescription. At least that's the simplest right. one they can do because they were the one that did it. Yeah. If these people meant well, if they meant well for Biafran people, that prescription at least, they were the one that prescribed IPO. At least remove that prescription from your zones, from your states. Not only that, they, 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 would, they, would, have, they would have put fire on Nigeria government to release them they can, if they refuse to release it. And they will release him. But they are the one holding him. It's not planning that holding them the kind of or information. This is, this is just, it's, just it's, it's, it's so painful. It's so painful and unbelievable. That is why I used to tell people that every that. day you wake up, every day you wake up, you go to the media, either the social media or commercial yeah. media, you will see a reason why you must get out of the zoo. Honestly. Every yeah. day, every place you see new events. That will make you know that it is the right time to get out. Yeah. Because if you don't work out for the zoo, you will pay with your life. It's just a matter of time. Sure. Sure. It's just a matter of time. Maybe because today it's not happening to you or a member of your family. You don't care. Mm. It's not happening to you. It will get to you. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how connected you are. It doesn't matter how what you think you have. And just like as you said, it matter. Ha, just like you said. Every single one of them, the same zoo they support, we take them out when the time comes. 
Yes, man. Those of us who, are, who know the enemy and run, run away from the enemy and face the enemy head on, we will be protected because they know us, they know that we know them. Yes, yes, man. They can't come close, they know that we know them and we don't give them any chance. Yes. But those of yes. us who are pretending, thinking that a full animal knows you very, very well. It's just for people, people who are not living, if you have lived in the north, if you have lived in the north, if you are from the southern part, of, if you are from any part of the land, in the north. if you are from any part of the land, they see you as a Nyamri. It doesn't matter who you yes. It doesn't matter the I name you be. I, I have lived in the north. They don't, they don't even you. take you as anything. Thank you. Even Yoruba, even Yoruba people, they don't believe in Yoruba people. They call them Berebe, which means... Exactly. They, 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 uh, uh, also, Nahab also. Exactly. Oh, you are not born Yoruba. Berebe, that's what they call them. They don't care about anybody except themselves. They don't care. They don't, they don't yeah. see us as human. Only, yeah. I don't know why people still begin to. The only, the only thing is to get out of this place. Let them be on their own, build their own. That's their caliphate. There is nothing wrong mm. in having it. Build that your caliphate and stay there alone. Yeah. If I yeah. want to come there, I know I'm coming to such a zone, and I will take your visa. I come. Whatever I see, I take it. What's the word? Get a bottle of water, load. More I know, I'm going to go out I'm just saying, it. if there's anything that will take us that place, we will take the ticket and we go. My and brother, brother nothing, nothing, will nothing will take us. Nothing will take us. Nothing. Nothing will take us. If, instead of taking us there, it will take us to Odudu, Odudu land. Where will be more secure? Because those people, they don't like us. My God. They don't like us. And they can never <laughs> like us. And we will never like them. We, we, the indigenous people that know what we, what we are, that know what God has deposited in us, we will never like them and they can never like us. We can never be friends with them. We can't. Of course, Martin Nanda can say it. Martin Nanda can tell them that our enmity is, is for a million years. It cannot stop. Yes. After we finish fighting our children, we face their children and build the boundaries. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My brother, no, thank you very Even after we get away from the zoo and we have our own country, we, it will just be the situation you see in, in, in Israel today. To be a police country, everybody has to be at a lot at any minute. Yes, no. At a lot at any minute. Before you cross the border yes. to enter, we know what you're coming from, who you are. Yes, no. Not only that, because all these children they are giving birth to, they will see, they will see my they will see start doing their nothing sense. Exactly. So that's why I'm the country when the Afra come, our DNA, everything we will trace every you, everybody will be traced to where his origin. It will be checked properly. Very important to be checked. Yeah. Because the, kind of, the, the, the kind of people we have in Biafra land, sometimes when they behave, you wonder, you wonder, is this person really a Biafra? The way they behave. My brother. Okay, look at now. They are, they are, okay, Imo says now, they are, they are organizing protests. That they are going to protest that hope who's on them I have not paid them for how many months? 30 months. 30 good months. Workers. The governor have not paid salary for 30 good months, which is how many months? How many years? And every day he's yeah, sponsoring it. terrorists from, 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 from right. Abuja. Yes. Every day you from go Abuja. and buy Abuja and collect soldiers. He yes. will come proudly and say he bought he bought Amor car to them, he bought Land Cruiser to them, he gave them cars. Yeah, no, don't worry. He should, keep on, yeah. he should keep on buying. We, we, our men will keep on destroying it. Of course. Mm, they should keep on buying. I pity, I pity for them. I don't know. They, they pity for them. My brother, thank you. Thank you very much. Let, let me go and prepare for work. Okay, thank my brother. Much. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you so much. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I really appreciate your effort. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for your support. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. It's so, it's so, it's so sad. The situation we find ourselves. It's a very sad situation that we find ourselves, and everybody have to wake up. Everybody have to wake up. Everybody, if you're a Biafran, you have to wake up. There is no more time. No more time. No more time. You must have to sit up. Each and every one of us must have to sit up. Stop looking at your shoulder. Stop looking at your shoulder. Stop looking at somebody who is behind you. I'm talking to you yourself. You yourself, you have to wake up. Whoever is watching, you have to wake up. Because if we continue to wait for these people to join us, if we continue to wait for everybody to be carried along, they will finish us. 
they will finish up. This full line is the Janja way will not stop at anything at taking the life of the innocent dear friends. They are ready to consume the life of people at any given opportunity. They're not ready to spare anybody. When you watch the video that is coming out, it's a very painful video that is coming out. The way they are treating our mothers. What have they done? What wrong have they done? That the mothers are protesting, telling you to stop killing their children. Why are you murdering their children? Why are you killing innocent children? Why are you destroying them? Why are you destroying properties and lives? Why are you making them widows? Instead of you listening to their voice, you brought your, your, your police and army to begin to beat them up and arrest them, put them into your truck. What kind of, what kind of a world are we living in? What kind of a world are we living in? Another apartheid in Nigeria, sponsored by, by the Fulanese. And you see some people who are even Biafrans, some Biafrans who have lost their conscience. I don't know. I don't know what kind of salary you are looking for. I don't know the kind of salary you are looking for. And you'll be there. Your own mother will be humiliated in a country where there is no rule of law. There is no rule of engagement. Because even if you are, even if you are a Biafran and you are in their military or their police, there are rules of engagement. The police and army should have their rule of engagement. And when you are there and you are watching your own people being abused, you have to remind them of the rule of engagement. You have to remind them of rule of engagement. If you cannot quit from the military or police because of your belly, because of your salary, because you don't have any other means, that's your means of survival, at least be there and remind them of the rule of engagement. Not you being there now and begin to supervise the abuse and killing of your own people. It's really heartbreaking. Really heartbreaking. When you watch most of those videos, you see some of them speaking Biafran language. You see some of them speaking Igbos. You see some, some of them speaking Igbo, adding, joining the enemy to kidnap, to, joining the enemy to destroy their own people, to destroy their own mothers. It is very, very hard. It's really heartbreaking, really heartbreaking. Very hard to watch. If you cannot tender your resignation, watching those evil things happen, why don't you stand in of your people? Remind them there are rules of engagement. The police have their rule of engagement. The military have their rule of engagement. There are ways you handle such issues. Everything is done by bullet, by gun, by arresting, and by all, by all this. There are ways to address issues. Why don't you, those Biafrans who are still in their military, who are still in their police, who are presenting themselves, being in the front, why don't you implement that rule of engagement? At least to make your people have a relief a little bit. Every one of us have said that nobody can speak for us. No military anywhere is fighting for us. No representative for us. They are so called on holidays, no, they can never ever speak for you. Instead, they are speaking on behalf of the caliphate. The House of Assembly members are speaking on the behalf of the caliphate. The senators are speaking on behalf of the caliphate. The governors are the ones pioneering the agenda of the caliphate. Then where lies our hope? Our faith lies in our hands. Our faith lies only in our hands. We have to help ourselves. We have to help ourselves. And that is why every one of us has to stand up. Every one of us has to stand up now. Stand up now, not tomorrow. Stand up now. Do the needful. We have to engage in the fight once and for all. We cannot hand over this suffering to our, our, our coming generation. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot allow our coming generation to watch this humiliation. Watch our mothers, our sisters being molested, being abused. It's so heartbreaking. Mazen Nanga will ask, do we not have men anymore in Biafra land? Does me mean that we don't have men anymore in Biafra land that can come out and stand up and speak? That is what it looks like. That is exactly what it looks like. There, there are no men in Biafra land anymore. There are no men anymore can, that can stand up against the evil that is happening in Biafra land. It is so sad. It is so sad. But I tell you, it's just for a little while. 
It is just for a little while. All these things, you will see them no more. It is just for a little while. They have prov provoked us to the limit. They have provoked us to the limit, and we cannot be silent anymore. It's just for a little while. It's just for a little while. The Egyptian you see today, you shall see them no more. Let them continue doing whatever they, have, they can do while they still have the time. Let them continue the abuse, the arrest, and whatever while they still have the time. But I tell you, it will not be for too long. It will not be too, too long. Their friends are paying a heavy price for no reason. For we have not committed any crime. We have not committed any crime. How can you beat a child and tell that child not to cry? What, what sort of wickedness is that? You beat a child and you prevent the child from crying. That is the height of wickedness. Every one of us was there watching. The terrorists went to Enugu State. Lives were taken. A lot of people were killed in Enugu State by the terrorists. Nobody came to their rescue. Their so-called Bubanga, whatever you call them, never come to their rescue. The military were not present anyway. The people were left on their own to protect themselves. And then when they came out to protest and demand for protection, you unleash your anger on them. You unleash the military on them. Begin to abuse them. And you think that Chukwu Kukabiyama will allow you to go free. You can go scot free. You can go scot free. Everyone that gets involved in destroying the life of Biafrans, anyone that gets involved in destroying the life of Biafrans or abusing and insulting our mothers, you are going to pay dearly. You will definitely, definitely pay dearly. In Biafran land, you can't escape it. You can't escape it. Maybe you've been thinking that you've won. You're thinking you are dealing with them. You're thinking you're making them cry. But let me tell you, our tears will not be for so long. Our tears will not be for long. We are going to take vengeance for every human being who took his life in Biafra land. For every assault against us, you will pay. For every assault against our mothers, you will pay. You will pay. Just write it somewhere. You will pay. And not in a long time. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. You're going to pay for any evil you are doing against Biafra people. You will pay. You will definitely, definitely pay. I tell you, you will pay. You might call it a joke. Call it a bluffing. Don't take it serious. But I'm telling you, you are going to confess yourself. It is going to happen. I urge every Biafra to tighten up their belt. Every Biafra should title his or her belt any place you are. Tighten your belt. The time is drawing near very, very fast. The clock is ticking very, very fast. And we are working with the time. Tighten up your belt. We are not going to stop at anything to bring Biafra. Nothing is going to stop us. Nothing is going to stop us. It doesn't matter the propaganda. It doesn't matter the propaganda. They can't stop us. We are going to put an end to the abuse in Biafra land. We are going to put an end to that slavery. We cannot be strangers in our own land, in our own home, be a stranger, a foreigner for that matter. A foreigner will come in your own land and make you a stranger. There's no human being that we allow that. No human being we allow that. Not even animals. Animals protect their territory. Animals protect their territory. They don't joke with it. If animals can be able to protect their territory, I'm not giving it out for any reason whatsoever. How much more a human being who has brains, who has some little wisdom that you have given him? You think a human being will allow his territory to be taken over? We will not. If others will, Biafrans will not. And I believe the Ududua people will not. Ududua people will not. Whatever mistake have been, that have been in the past in the, is in the past. Every mistake that has been made in the past are all in the past. In the present time that we're in, we will not leave any stone on tongue. We will not leave any stone on tongue. 
and we are going to make sure that all the evil are destroyed. We are going to make sure that we fight back and regain our freedom. No matter what they throw at us, no matter their blackmail and propaganda, no matter the evil they are applying, because more are coming. I urge every Biafran to stand strong. Stand strong. Stand strong. When it's getting tough, that is when the light is going to shine. As it's getting tough, we are getting to the end of the road. And at the end of the tunnel, there will be a light. Already I can see the light. But let me tell you, it's not going to be easy. In all the challenges, Chukwu Kukabia will never leave us unprotected. Chukwu Kukabia will never, ever leave us unprotected. He will always be there to protect you and I. He will always be there to make a way for us where there is no way. He will always be there to defend us. Stand for us and speak for us. But it's left for us to do the right thing. We have to play our own role. Play our own part. And make sure that we are not left behind. Chukwoko Kabiyama has given us the order, have given us the mandate to walk away from the zoo. And we are going to walk away. No man born of a woman can stop us from walking away from the zoo. We are going to walk away from the zoo. We are going to walk away from the zoo in a few days' time. The Biafran people, the Dudu people are going to walk away. And no man is going to stop it. Let them continue to do whatever evil they are doing. All I'm going to ask every Biafran you are, where you are, wherever you are, as a Biafran, be security conscious. Pay attention to your environment. Mainly people who are in Biafran land. Try as much as possible to secure yourself. Stay in a safe zone. Try as much as possible. As we are getting to the end of the road, try as much as possible to secure yourself the best way you can. Every man in Biafran land should know that we are all policemen today. Biafra land has to be a police nation. Everyone has have a role to play. You must have to plan your own strategy on how to defend yourself. You must have to start to plan and practice how to defend yourself and defend your family. Every hand has to be on deck to fight this battle and fight it to finish. In this time around, there will be nothing like no victor, no vanquish will not be allowed. There will be a victor and Biafra will be victorious. It can never be no victory, no vanquish anywhere. We can't allow that deceit anymore. This time around, there will be a victor. And Biafra will be victorious. Because Chukwu Kabiyama says so. Because Chukwu Kabiyama says so, Biafra will be victorious. It doesn't matter what anybody has to say. It doesn't matter their blackmail and propaganda. And it baffles me at this critical point in time to show you how, so, how evil some people are. At this critical point in time, you will still see some people who are busy gossiping. You still see some Biafra who spend their time on their platform gossiping. Gossiping about irrelevant things. You see people who spend their time attacking Master Simon Eber, who is protecting us. Master Simon Eber is doing everything possible to see that Biafra land is safe. People are still attacking him. That is how evil some people are. Some people are just irredeemable. It doesn't matter what you do, they can't be redeemed. They will not be redeemed. But I tell you, those ones, Chukwu Kukabiyama is going to wipe them away and make sure they don't follow us into Biafra. Because in Biafra land, we wouldn't want all these distractions. Every single one of them that have posed as a distraction, as a hindrance, those of them who have sworn that instead of Biafra to come through the autopiloted group led by Master Simon Epa and the leadership of Master Nandi Kano. Since they have sworn they don't want to see that Biafra come, they are going to be there. They are going to pay with their own life. That same spirit of Biafra will swallow them. The spirit of Biafra will swallow them. I thank you, Kukuk Kabiyama, today. The spirit of Biafra have been woken up. All our dead heroes are watching. They are aware. And they are fighting along with us. We are not just fighting our own. They are fighting along with us. So when we say we are going to be victorious, we know what we are talking about. If they like, let them go and bring all the beef fish they have in the U.S. Go and bring the greatest weapon you can see. Float it over Biafra. We will never stop.
and we shall be victorious. It's going to surprise them how it's going to happen. Chukwu Kagabian will take them by surprise. Just like Mazin Nandekano said. Mazin Nandekano said, Biafra will come in such a way that no man will take the glory. I don't forget that word. Mazin Nandekano said, Biafra will be the last miracle on the planet Earth. And Biafra will come in such a way that no man, no single man will go and take the glory for it. No single man will go for it. Take the glory for the coming of Biafra. That's it to show you how miraculous it's going to be. We are friends, are believers. We believe in Chukwu Kabiam and what he can do. We can belittle him. We cannot catch Chukwu Kabiam or limit him or tell him what he's done. No. He has a way of doing his own thing. And he's going to apply his own way to liberate us very, very soon. It doesn't matter the blackmail that is coming from east, west, north, and south. It doesn't matter the propaganda they are pushing from all corners. It will not fly. They are wasting their time. It won't fly. We did here. It is so sad. Any place you are, please continue to pray for our mothers in Biafra land, in Enugu to be precise. Continue to remember them in, their, in your prayers. Continue to speak out on their behalf. Anything you can do on their behalf, continue to do so. It is so sad. Those videos are very, it's, it's heartbreaking to watch. You watch your own mother thrown into a truck for committing no offense. You watch your mother being slapped by a policeman. You watch your mother being tear gassed. You, you watch your mother being treated like a common criminal. What other humiliation is more than that? What other humiliation is greater than that? And while all this is going on, you have people who claim to be politicians. They are there watching. You have people who claim to be Hades and Debo. You are there watching, including the so-called World Evil Congress. They are silent about all these issues because most of them is just about their personal interests. Majority of them are just about their interests. They are so scared. They are so scared of the truth. They are so scared of the truth. But it takes a lot of God for you to stand in the truth. It takes a lot of God, but it's easiest and the safest way to stand. The easiest place and the safest place to stand is on the truth. Because when you're standing on the truth, you don't need to take twice what you say or what you do. When you're standing on the truth, you don't need to be cracking your brain what to say, what to do. Chukwu government will give you the word, you speak, and it will happen. But because you're not standing on the truth, you will always be confused and scared of the unknown. That is why the politicians in Biafra land today cannot boldly come out and defend their own people. That is why Oharez Ndivo cannot come boldly and demand that every mother that they have arrested should be released because they have all been compromised. Bunch of evil men, criminals everywhere. People who doesn't have conscience. People that have sold their conscience to the devil. But I tell you, it is not gonna to be too long. We are going to be free. It is not gonna be for too long. We are going to be free once again. And we'll have a nation. We are every one of us will be proud to say, yes, I am part of this nation. We will have a nation where you will be say, I am patriotic to this nation. You will have a nation where you can defend it with your life, put your life on the life of your nation. That is the nation we are looking up to. We don't want to build a nation where criminals will be involved. We don't want to build a nation where cowards will be involved. We want to build a nation with strength, with truthfulness and consistency. And that nation is going to be born very, very soon. It doesn't matter whether you support it or you don't support it, whether you believe it, or, that doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't matter anymore. We are going to Biafra in a few days' time. In a few days' time. Just keep the record. Even if you don't keep the record, you will, work, you will sleep in Nigeria and you wake up in Biafra. It's going to happen. It's bound to happen. And very soon. May Chukwoku Kabiyama guide and protect everybody who have joined on this very broadcast. It was a very short one. I wanted to make it a short broker because it's a heartbreaking one. What is happening to our mothers in Biafra land? May Chukwoku Kabiyama continue to guide and protect and secure our mothers. Please, Biafra, this is the time. The time has come. That time that Mazin Nanakano spoke about, it has come. And we will not stop at anything in defending Biafra land. May Chukwoku Kabiyama guide and protect all the Biafra, guide and protect all the Udua people, guide and protect all the Middle Belters. Guide and protect everyone that is genuinely seeking for freedom. 
Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège son libo en professeur Kintoye. Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège de Oumuada en Honor Brazoka. Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège all the autopilot groups, all the autopilot media group. Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège every one of you. Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège our spokesperson Master Simon Epa. Mais tu crois que ma continue de garde en protège you secure and give you more strength. Mais tu crois que ma garde en protège de garde en protège our supreme de Master Nani Kam. Secure him. Build him up, keep him safe until he joins us very soon. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazen Nandikano shall prosper. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazen Nandikano shall prosper. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazen Nandikano shall prosper. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, us. if you have time, please kindly join me on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be broadcasting there by 5 p.m. Biafra time. If you're free, 5 p.m. Biafra time, you can join me on my YouTube channel, Chuk Survival on YouTube. Join me on Chuk Survival on YouTube. Then we can continue from there to preach the gospel. Thank you so much. I remember. See you. Bye-bye. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Nam I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor, have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. You cannot go everywhere. We must continue.